Hey everybody, welcome back to My View on the View, a commentary program all about my favorite show, ABC's The View. Thank you for joining me for another episode. I'm your host, MVOTV. Thanks for joining me again. Listen, check down there in the description box if you got any questions. Well, guys, I just wanted to talk with y'all a little bit about something that I feel was personal. I don't know why I feel that it was personal. You know, I could be definitely wrong. I hope to God I'm wrong. But I was very surprised today when our show did not did not acknowledge the death of actress Kirstie Alley. I was very surprised by that. A lot of you know, in the past, Kirstie uh, was a guest on our show. Um, I seem to think she guest hosted once. Maybe she didn't. I can't remember. It's been so many years. But I fully expected them to acknowledge her dying from cancer. Uh, this morning on the show. And when there was no mention of it at all, for some reason, I thought this must be something personal. A lot of you know that, um, you know, the show doesn't acknowledge every person who's passed away. We know that, right? They don't acknowledge. Most often they acknowledge those who were friends with Whoopi or Whoopi was friends with or Joy or just someone who was just, you know, very, very, very popular or some head of a state or something like that. But I thought to myself, I wonder if there was an issue between Kirstie and Whoopi and maybe Whoopi didn't like her. And so, and I know some of you will think that that's, that's very harsh to suggest. But one of the things I've learned uh, in the passing of so many people throughout the years uh, personally, not uh, not just famous people, but I mean people you know in real life, is that how people felt about you when you were alive is how they feel about you in your death. Like it doesn't change, you know. Um, <clears throat> I remember once there was someone in our community who was very, very, very well known uh, by so many people. And I went to this person's funeral and I was so shocked at, I mean, it was maybe two or three handfuls of people there. Whereas I thought it would probably be standing room only. And so I remember going back to my parents' house and saying to my my daddy, oh my God, I can't believe, you know, my dad, he went, he was there too. I can't believe, you know, I mean, did you see how many? And he said, you know what? He was well known, but not well liked. And it was actually my dad that taught me that just because you're dead doesn't mean that people's feelings about you change. No, if you were not a good person in your life, that's not going to all all of a sudden change because you passed. And so I don't really know. Um, but I just wondered because I really got a strong feeling that this was a personal thing and that they chose not to mention it because of, you know, maybe some rift between her and Whoopi. Now, a lot of us do know that in 2016 and also in 2020, Kirstie Alley came out in support of Donald Trump. Um, she made it very well, uh, widely known. She was a guest on Tucker Carlson's show She was tweeting it out. Um, But I thought, but surely her political stance wouldn't have anything to do with our show not acknowledging that she's passed. So I don't know. Were any of you also surprised by this today? Um, Let me know in the comments. You know, if I'm not mistaken, I know that Whoopi and Kirstie had done movies together or had been in at least one movie together. Um, But I don't know. You know, this stuff has been so many years ago. And I thought, oh, my goodness. Let's just check uh, with the community and see. So listen, drop down in the comments and let me know, were you also surprised by this or, you know, maybe you weren't, you know, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good day.